Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp and Honey for sponsoring today's episode. Uh, uh, guilty pleasures. <laughs> <laughs> I want to marry you. There it is. Why? Why? Today we are talking about Fifty Shades Darker, and yes, I did not repeat that, so Garrick, your version will be the cold open. <laughs> oh, God. And we are joined by not one, but two of the Foamers returning to talk about the Fifty Shades series. We have Ned, and here, his better half, Ariel Foamer. Yay! Yay. We're back, baby. Hello, We're back, baby. Mommy and Daddy. Smutty king and queen the, return. The, the smut kings and queens. Kings of smut. So yeah. today is an exciting day. We're talking about Fifty Shades Darker, the second in the Fifty Shades installment. Uh, God, there's so much to talk about in this movie. I want to talk to you, Ariel, specifically about your love of of well, oh, you yeah. love Queen. Yeah, why do you love shit? Why do you love smut from me a so bit much? Already. <laughs> you, I you know, just you guys are gonna make me blush. I heard the episode <laughs> with your mom on. You can sit with us. I was wondering why you asked us to do this film in particular, <laughs> as opposed to uh, as opposed to Twilight, which uh-huh. everybody knows is my favorite movie. Um, but this one, um, well, Twilight doesn't is have enough strikingly s- similar. <laughs> it doesn't have enough smut in it. The, Twilight doesn't have enough smut. Yeah. Twilight does not have enough smut. Well, when we last saw the gang, <laughs> An- Anastasia, she left Christian right. yeah. because they went to the red room and... I was wondering. Oh, yeah, I mean, I think basically what happened is like he's banked her too hard. <laughs> he, Pretty much. He, he I mean, she's like, like show me how far it can go. And he's like, okay. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah. He took Wait, it there. she said, let's see how far this can go? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah. And, and then he, he like, went there? way overdid it. And yeah. she got, got you know. It, got but it, got it has this it. crazy yeah, cliffhanger where they break up. So in this one, like, that's healthy. The gang <laughs> is back and they're fucking again. Yeah. We get And the movie answers the question, will she or won't she throw out these flowers? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't really want to say the plot so much as we'll get to it as we go. Why are you like, 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 worried that, 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 that is that there will be too much I was choking. I was, oh, was, I was laughing. You were choking, and choking at the lack of plot. The lack Got of plot. it. <laughs> when you said plot I was like, you don't have to but say that. But that's what makes it really real. I'm going to I'm join the like yay train for just a second, okay? okay. When you're in a... I like let me see if I can at say me this for word. the yay train. Yeah. This when you're in yeah. a tumultuous relationship. So close. The back and forth and the back and the yes and the no. And it's, do you want to be with me? I can't, but I do want to. My heart says no and my vagina says yes. This is actually... I would argue it is so real that we don't even need a plot. We're watching a slice of life. Wow. Kelsey, I'm going to stop you right there. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Absolutely not. Someone's got to stand up. I love, I love your enthusiasm for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I heartily disagree. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm okay. not yeah, saying yeah, yeah, that, it it has, that, it, that it has a plot. But I'm not saying that... Like, no, it's very I Noah Baumbach. It's very Mary. I don't think it's, <laughs> it's, it's Mary. Star- I don't think it's Noah Baumbach. Watching Mary the Bach. scene oh. unfold. I, I don't it's think it's like, it's, it's even close to like a Judd Apatow movie. I feel like mm. it's like it's it's literally just somebody sitting down reading the book and being like, I guess we can throw in all of the things that I guess weren't mentioned, mm. and then we'll <laughs> do like a small through line throughout. The the broad strokes are that Anastasia and Christian get back together shockingly fast with immediately. <laughs> With but no, then they don't. To, totally resolve the Just the resolve entire plot like well, of the first I, you movie. You know, she was hungry, uh, and I think that <laughs> yeah. had a lot to do with it. Right, because they go yeah. out to dinner. Right. And when yeah. you love someone, you yeah. kind of are more willing to see the 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 money and the shiny but the, things. The other thing right? is, the other thing is, when they were like actually talking to each other, I was like, oh, these people hate each other. They don't <laughs> like each other at all. And then when they got down to to the dirty, deep, nasty, mm-hmm. freaky, nasty time, oh. then it was uh, hotter. But other than that, <laughs> to give us, I guess, full permission to to really dive in here, nice. I think okay, we I'm should sorry. start nice. with this Ariel about. diving in. Why yeah. do you love this film? Why do you love this franchise? I believe you did say on the <gasps> way in that this is known for being the <sighs> the best of the three. three. Sorry, it's just a hard pause. Uh, we yeah. want to talk about Christian Curry. Yeah. 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 yeah, don't try to hide this. Excuse me. I'm sorry. She has a cartier, pause. a cartier, cartier bracelet. Cartier, um, Infinity, you actually need a lock to take this off. You need a key to take it off. Talk it doesn't about, come talk off. about yeah. like shackles. Yeah. Do you guys she's, not know that? She's shackled you to the money. I am shackled. 
<laughs> okay, but sorry. This, but, was, this was our 10 year anniversary present. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. We did just celebrate 10 That's year anniversary. Right. Chad's like, gotta lock it in. Yeah. Bulmers, why do you love this film? I love it because it's basically uh, it's porn on the big screen. <laughs> okay. okay, porn you can watch in a movie theater and not the seventies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to well, Valentine's I, Day, twenty seventeen. Yes, <laughs> go on. Well, I don't know. Our first child hasn't even been conceived yet. But not yet. <laughs> we're working on it. Uh, <laughs> Right. Why, why do we like it? Well, it makes you not have to worry about these inconvenient things like plot or character development <laughs> or even charisma. Exactly. The main actor has the charisma of a plank of wood, and by God, he's as rock he's hard as it is. Well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. He's Which is money. a personality. I don't think it's and a he personality. Has a thing thing. Thing. Would you have that horse money? in his Wait, gym? I don't know. I don't believe it. Yeah, that's a little strange. He has, he has a, a pommel horse in his gym. He has a pommel horse in his gym. That's strange, in which right? He, he does, People don't do that. He does uh, a, pl a full planche mm -hmm. and then for no reason at all. No reason. Just so he can have a scene where Just so he can have a scene where he's doing it. Sweat. It's a very, yeah. I didn't know, I don't know that word planche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that's Excuse just me? your hands. Yeah, doing he's your hands standing doing just on his hands and his whole body planche? is yeah, That's planche. the word? P-L-A-N. That's like a plank with your hands. P-L-A-N-C-H-E. Why do but, people know that word? Um, I, believe it's, I believe it's. I believe it's. I wanted to learn how to do those, and they're very hard yeah. to do. It's but such is, a funny I moment though, because he plant. does it, and his, <laughs> ah, nice. his legs go more than straight. They go up in the air, and you can clearly see that they like have had little a, wires. A just, no. Yeah. Oh wait, really? No, oh, I thought he damn. was just super strong. No, that was that was probably the hottest scene of the movie right there. Oh, no, so? that was completely. Like, he did not need to do that in order no. to like prove his hotness so no. that was the that's not it's it's not even a workout sorry to cut you right. off it's but not like, a workout at that? all yeah. it's just somebody showing off it's almost like he knew she was around the corner right. it's like I'm right gonna yeah but you know right this now. movie For isn't sure. about we, that was what the first one was about was about being like look at my body this one's about don't look at my body. Don't mm, touch right, my body. Don't right. touch. I have yeah. lipstick boundaries. markings for my boundaries. Okay. Because and, and she's open. She. They've decided to make their relationship vanilla, which means we're gonna just try and do the date thing like for realsies. No contracts. Uh, uh -huh. No BDSM. Right. That's a huge change in this one. Just yeah. regular uh, just missionary. Just nothing but helicopters yeah. and missionary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what you would assume a billionaire does. But like it, it, that that part was so wild because I kept on wanting them to explain it and they didn't. They really only smart. did it with the with the, the the dream at the beginning. The boundaries. Uh -huh. He was obviously burned you have on to his read the book, Garrett. Yeah, right. I know, but I don't want to. <laughs> it did. It started pretty heavy. It, yeah, yeah, it started heavy. It yeah. started like it was going to set up a lot of stuff. Or I mean, it, it did set up a lot of stuff that were going to be later explained and then they weren't. They were just kind of just Use for him to be more and more abusive the as first it went 15 on. Fifteen minutes are borderline unwatchable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, oh my god! Fast forward my whole life, nothing is happening. Mm -hmm. They're giving they, you extra time I to get popped. Don't even really know what they're talking about. Yeah, do they like each other? Do they not like each other? And then the fucking happens. Yeah, and, and we remember like each other. why you bought a ticket. In the yeah. first place. <laughs> okay, her friend who took a bunch of photos of her and put them up. Jose, I think. Yeah, yeah. Jose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like... He was the one that was in the... And he's like, if I asked you, you would have said no. Like, what if it wasn't Christian Grey that had bought it? Yeah, I so thought it was going to be... Here, there's, a, there's a photo gallery, and she comes in, does not know that there's going to be giant portraits of her mm -hmm. yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Very awkward, very weird. And then, of course, we get the introduction. He yeah. he comes right. in and says, he, I'm going to buy all of them because mm -hmm. I don't like it when people... Gawk at you. Yeah, which is I weird. hate this man. I, I don't it's like him. Sweet. I don't like him. I want to go Kelsey, head up face with him. Get was, the fuck out of I'm here. I'm trying to find the sweetness in it. Oh, no, it is gotcha. sweet. It is sweet. For no. somebody who like wants to be possessed, yeah, for sure. There you for go. somebody who wants to be possessed, she it does, is sweet. The problem is she okay. does not yeah. want to so be possessed. So with somebody who is truly broken inside, yeah. then yeah, then it's sweet yeah. for them. Yeah, yeah. Got it. it works when the, when the relationship is control- Possess. Yeah. I do. Okay. Although I do think that Anastasia, she's she wants like she wants to somebody to take care of her. Mm. She is like she is a Bella. She wants to be taken care of. Mm. You know, she she gets off on that. Yeah. She, she's 100%. like, I'm gonna try and work. I'm gonna be an assistant and read. Yeah. I, I, Anastasia Steele, whose main character development is 
writing. Yeah. yeah. I would say the opposite. I would say that she does not want to be taken care of at all. And then this person is, she's just so drawn to this person because I genuinely enjoy Dakota Johnson's portrayal of assertiveness. I say booty. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> she's good. got, I mean, they're, yeah, she's got. Do you I think, think she has a vibe, but I don't Dakota think she Johnson's has body at all. Does she have a butt double? In the first one, she's we learned that she did. I promise you, she has a butt double. Oh my god! I would probably that was... not a boob double. No, but I like that about a butt her. Double. Not for obvious reasons, but she gave small titty screen time. She was like, "Small titties are cool. I'm fucking showing you how sexy they can be." And I was like, "All right, we stand. <laughs> yeah, girl." Yeah. yeah. Uh, my first question, and it is my first pleasure, um, <laughs> is. Why is Christian Grey not hot? <laughs> and I love it. The way that they introduce him. So he enters this, you know, he enters this photo gallery. This is the big moment. We haven't seen Christian Grey for 10 minutes. We haven't seen him since the elevator closed. We saw him. He was oh, uh, right. Okay, we saw him in the bed. But this yeah. is Anastasia and Christian are getting back together. This is the the sex icon at the middle of this franchise. How do you introduce? He steps in the frame. Yeah, he steps <laughs> in the frame. I know. Almost, almost comedically. He yeah. just, he just bloop, ugh, he sidesteps <laughs> and he's hey, into, what into a close up shot. Just right. bloop. You yeah, don't I'm get here. like a fun like pan up I'm his right. body. You don't get like to see like fucking cufflinks. It's just bloop. And then this fucking sex god, what does he wear? He's wearing a crew neck sweater. Yeah. Mm. You're telling me that's the hottest thing you could yeah, put this As much in? charisma I as a it. loaf of bread. Don't, don't, I mean, for for one, don't shit on crew necks. I love a good yeah. crew neck. Yeah. I'm but saying though. For somebody who's a, like a billionaire, yeah. you can wear like some casual. But you guys, guys are, you guys are failing to gallery. recognize that this this movie, this this sequel is about making him look kind of lame. Yeah, it's the fun. whole time right. they're setting him up to be like, he's a control freak. He's fucked up. He's lying to you. He's telling. He's not telling you secrets. Yes, do they do a good job of justifying it? You got to see the third one, which I'm sure we'll do yeah. at some point. I do, but he's not supposed to be the yeah. sex guy. I think he's he's not supposed case. to look super sexy right now. Like he's damaged, and he's yes. and he he like Damage he needs her. Hot. But he did. You know? that's a good he point. Didn't, he, he's they, falling apart barely, without her. We barely got to the damage though. Like there's mm. no like they. We, I know as somebody You didn't who, see their texts on screen? Yeah, I, you're right, you're right. Just over the, over the <laughs> fucking shoulder. I, so I know just like as somebody who watches movies that he was like burned as a kid with right. cigarette, but you can like see the scars and all of that. But like they didn't say that at all. Like they didn't even dive into it. I would have mm -hmm. loved that. That would have been really cool. It's spread it, out over like three or what is it for? Three three films. Three movies? Yeah, yeah honestly it felt like a TV show. Especially like the way the whole thing ends yeah. just like very that's abruptly. Fair. It's an episode. With a cliffhanger. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah it's, 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 it's an it episode. It was like a Netflix show that's mm -hmm. like, oh, the guy's waiting. Let's go yeah, the next three, three, two, TV show one, was, and um, Fifty Shades Freed. If that TV show was a daytime soap opera, yeah. yes, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Oh, Derek is describing content. we alluded to, but the the opening of this movie, he has this uh, PTSD dream, or he has this nightmare. He's dreaming of being abused as a kid. Which get this man to therapy. I'm sorry if, yeah. and I know it was very big, but if you're having yeah. like thrashing dreams at yeah. age 30 Saying about no. something that happened to your kid and going, no, no you just get your ass to therapy. Yeah. I feel it's like time to work through this. I feel like he's been through a lot of therapy. Yeah. Like this man has been through a lot of therapy. <laughs> that's how he got to and sex. That, yeah, that's how he yeah. got to this. That's how he got to like, that's how this, 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 Parents' friend found him and realized Michelle Pfeiffer. and and like realized that you know this is what he needs. You know he went through so much therapy to like get You're over on the Michelle Pfeiffer system side here. and all that stuff. Oh God, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, can we talk about no. uh, Grace slapping Mrs. Robinson? Hilarious. Uh, this is the hilarious. best scene of the it's movie. The gotta be thing. the dramatic conclusion, like the dramatic peak. The funniest thing of all time. The, the best is, part of the movie. Rich people, I've learned, are so polite when they fight. Because right. <laughs> first you get yeah. Anastasia Steele. She takes her martini glass yep. <laughs> Bam, and yeah. splashes it on her yeah. face. Michelle Pfeiffer stands and takes it. Yeah, And, and then... then <laughs> And, and then the mom no, comes and up. Mm -hmm. Oh, Shin uh, hands her a handkerchief to which she 
rather than like yeah. just wiping her face. Dabs it. Dabs it. Artfully. That could she be a makeup thing. Make that's a makeup thing. A make I'm, thing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It is a makeup she thing. She clearly has had a lot of work done. So yeah, she, you know, right, she probably spent right, right. a lot of time. Right. And then <laughs> her hair salon screen, business. We don't know what's happening. Grace for sure doesn't know what's happening. But she was like, I've been waiting to do this to this bitch for years. Mm -hmm. And then she walks up and slaps the shit out of her. Yeah. And, and then she still just stands there and takes it. Yeah, right. In no, Incredible. nobody comes to blows. Well, but you know why? Why? Well, she's submissive. Yeah, she likes it. She's a sub. Is she a, I oh, thought she, I was, thought she no, was. She's no, a dumb. She was, she was dumb. Christian Grace for sub. No, I she no, was no. Dumb. She, she teaches him the the lifestyle as like a dominatrix. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. No. That's, I think. I that's think why that, he kneels on the ground at the end. Because that's yeah. kind of how he like yeah, became. That's, thing. that's how he stops fighting in school is right. someone telling him don't fight in school. Or well, maybe whatever. she knows just like the way it's like you don't want to take your medicine because you know it's good for you. But it's like maybe she knows she's like, I got to yes. take this. Because that, okay, so. Are you okay? No, don't no, no. Cry. I'm, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> trust clever. me, I'm, not, I'm never going to cry. We do have to do Paddington 2 after this. So I'll yeah. cry then. But I think like, so I um, thought that if he was a sub for like the first, you know, couple years of this like journey and whatnot, him switching over to the Dom side and but just he's, being but like. he's not a Dom. He's a sadist. Oh, yeah. Him uh, switching over to. But, yes. but I mean, in his Dramatic relationships. Dramatic reveal in act three. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm a sadist. Today's episode is sponsored by PayPal Honey. My favorite thing to shop for online is, uh, frankly, everything. But how often do I have a promo code when it comes time for checkout? I would say, uh, frankly, never. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. So imagine you're shopping one of your favorite sites, maybe trackouts.com. Hey, when you go to check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it finds for that site. And if Honey finds a working coupon, ba-bam, you'll watch the prices instantly drop. I bought the shirt online. Honey saved me eight Buckaroos. Now, that may not sound like much, but you add that up over time, that's pretty incredible. And it could not be easier. And now, you can add Honey to your iPhone, too. Just enable it on Safari, and you can find savings on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could straight up be missing out. It's literally free and installs in just a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. Hey, thanks so much. We love it. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash guilty. That's joinhoney.com slash guilty. And now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Think about this, okay? You have one mind, one brain, and you are stuck with it for the rest of your life. It's important to invest time and care into keeping your mind healthy. There are, of course, plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language, taking power naps, playing your daily crosswords, but there's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. I've been using BetterHelp for a while now, and it's just been so helpful working through stressors that come up in my day to day, but also kind of getting to know myself, unpackaging the mysterious treat that is Zach. You can't get through life happy until you truly know yourself. And one of the best ways to do that is through therapy. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat only therapy sessions. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. So much more affordable than in-person therapy. And you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash guilty pleasures. That's better. H-E-L-P dot com slash guilty pleasures. Like, I, yeah, sure. It's just it. like, oh, I have to learn new terms now. I yeah. actually but, did have to look it up. So yeah. sadist is into pain. Yeah. The dom is into control. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's not a little bit of both. I think he's a little bit of both. I think he's a little bit of both. He like actually says right. he's a sadist. But like it's, it's just that crossover of him being a, a sub before and then going into a dom and then like him like kind of learning how to be a dom in general or just him being a little bit more afraid of doing that to somebody else i feel like makes for a more compelling story and you i can't want the origin story i want the origin <laughs> you story want, you want the prequel i want the prequel of this i would love the prequel of this i would love high to school just like yeah you want 25 shades of gray well, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, or he negative 20 school, <laughs> or negative 50 like, he was he was very wait can we yeah. talk about the yeah. offhand line where they're like um, seattle's youngest bachelor a billionaire who's 27 years old he's what? not 27 <laughs> he's not 27 are you out of your fucking mind? I'm gonna rethink my life. 
Oh yeah. my god. Rethink your yeah. life. That man Rethink. looks 85. Yeah. <laughs> Than, than both of you. I just mean yeah. like, how yeah, he can he be a billionaire at he, age twenty-seven? No. You're, you're you're thinking about he it in wrong terms, it, buddy. Right? No, he didn't inherit it. Didn't no, he inherit he, some no, of it? No, no. He, his had, mom was just like a doctor. A he had right. a very <laughs> yeah, Chris says he was a crackhead. Well, well, I'm also, get back also, to that. okay, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, but like. Uh, the, the the whole story about Grace uh, adopting him, yeah. like the doctor from the, from the ER. That's fucked up, man. Like it was no, a that's different just time. Weird. Whoa, that's whoa. Weird. That's it was a up. different time. That's not fucked oh, up. That's, I this is for the young child in the hospital. Let me take him home with me. Oh, he has nowhere to go. Huh? <laughs> There's so much to to dissect here. So to slow down for a moment, we we mentioned that Christian reveals that he is a sadist, huh? and his mother did die. He more specifically says. <laughs> I'm a sadist. I get off on women who look like my mother. That is a real yeah. line in this film and the real explanation yeah. of the character and his motivation. They have a photo of his mother and his mother kind of looks like Dakota Johnson. And then like we learn that other women that he fucks look like Dakota Johnson yeah. who look like his mother. This is supposed to be my escapist fuck fuck movie. Yeah. I don't want to think about this no, stuff. No, you don't. It's weird. Oedipus Rex syndrome. <laughs> I, I do not. I No part of me saw the first one with like the fucking ice cube kind of lingus scene. I'm like, okay, this is working on me in ways that I didn't expect yeah. it to. And I'm like, okay, Zach, buddy, we're doing a Fifty Shades sequel. What do you want to see in it? Let's really... Uh, analyze and dissect the psyche of this damaged man who wants to fuck his mother by hurting people. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's yeah, it, it's a lot. Pretty fucked up, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Have, have you guys read the books? Yes. No. Yeah, because this this is in the, like yes. it goes into it in the book and stuff sure where like all of his detail. subs have to look like his mom. Yeah. It's it's very. Although I feel like I feel like this really kind of sh like makes. Uh, I don't know, like kinky stuff. It it, it makes it look weird. Yeah, sure. like it makes it look bad. Yeah. You One know, of the biggest like, critiques like of the whole only, series. Yes. Like only really that, fucked up people. Oh, he's correct. so fucked could, would up. Would partake? He has cigarette burns yeah. and like his mom died in front of him when he was a toddler. I was about to say, like as a kinky, I can confirm we're not. A, but then I thought, well, maybe I'm not the best example. You know what doesn't. <laughs> <mean? laughs> <laughs> I was about to stick up for the media as the community. You may be doing more damage. Never yeah. mind. <laughs> yes, never I, mind. I, we kind of skipped go here, and we were talking about your love of this franchise, of course. But like, you grew up or grew up with, but you 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 enjoy a good romance novel, right? 100%. And you enjoy this. So I did grow up with romance novels. Yeah. I, like in lieu of a sex talk, my mother gave me the Clan of the Cave Bear. What? I'm sorry. What is the Clan of the Cave Bear? Oh, Please yeah. tell me it's not something with the KKK. Uh -huh. Oh, you're gonna love it. <laughs> you're gonna love yeah, it. His name is yeah. John Delar. Yeah, at his this? name is John Delar, and he has a <laughs> penis that doesn't fit in anybody else's vagina except. Oh. <laughs> yeah, his Wait, dick is too to massive. It's like a caveman. Too big. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's Cinderella, Way too big. but caveman. But yeah, yeah. Basically. With a penis. Yeah, maybe we should do that yeah. movie too. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, it's Probably a should. Should we do? Oh, that? it's a movie. movie and a movie. Oh, oh it's a movie. It's a movie. Yeah. Starring it's a movie Daryl Hannah. Hannah. What? Back in the Can day. Can I please come back? Yes, 100%. For Clan of the Cave Bear. Yes. Thank you. But so, so. You're welcome. Kelsey. I know they're You're shocked right it. now. Don't watch the, <laughs> what, read the book before you watch okay. it. It's a human that grows up in a, like a Neanderthal community. And one Classic. day she finds another fucking Homo sapiens dude and they fuck each other's brains out. Because it's in. like she's finally finding the species that's meant for her. That's how your mom told you the talk of the birds and the bees? Find the oh, yeah. dick that's what right for you. Oh. And you know what? <laughs> Good for you. Find the right? dick that's right for you. And so we'll come you, over honey. to Ariel Fulmer to talk Mom's about just like, her. Find the di biggest dick you can fucking find. You find a dick bracelet. so massive. We're doing all right. Massive. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, so the appeal of a good romance novel. What? I thought what, you were gonna say the appeal of a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is it like supposed to do? And what is what? Do you, what do you get out of it? Because I want to know like uh, what this movie's doing well and maybe what it's missing. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Um, okay, so a romance novel, you, uh, good ones set up a a good plot. You know, so you really want because you can't just like. 
I I was reading a little bit about like how to write a romance novel oh, recently. Are you? Not Beautiful. because I want to write oh. romance novels, but because like I'm interested in how they're written. And um, uh, wait, this is exhilarating. Oh yeah, and so so one of the things is that you don't actually get into like sex until chapter five or something mm. like that. Like you really have to set Low up burn. the story. When um when does Bridgerton? do it do you know the Ooh, actual book like question. what chapter do they do i don't know i haven't oh. I, I didn't i haven't read bridgerton oh but in the I've only show, watched it, it. it's not a, it's because it's not a real romance novel is that what you're I saying am yeah Damn. although get it i will read it now okay right. yeah cool. i didn't know that was book that's cool i didn't yeah, know that'd be right up your alley yeah that'd be, like, that'd yeah. be right up my alley yeah um <laughs> but yeah so so they, <laughs> the duke you know it's a it's just a book until you know and sets up that like the story until between it isn't until it isn't until it gets really and and it and it always the anticipation that, to build. Yeah, the yeah. anticipation is there, and it and it has to start really slow. Want to have where it's five like pound the glances pussy weights clanking around inside <laughs> you all night. You say pussy weights. <laughs> Excuse me, they are Benoit balls. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I have the Talking Fifty about, Shades of Grey because uh, I of thought branded Benoit two hefty balls. steel balls. Yeah, I thought they were like, in there. I thought they were Kegel you. weights. No, yeah, well, they, they are Kegel. Okay, so literally, just so people at home know, like, this is the p- point of the movie. It's okay. not something Ned made up. Yeah, <laughs> this is uh, yeah. It's se- one of the sexy, me. steamy <laughs> moments is they're going to this party, and he's like, "Hey, you know what would steam things up if you wear these?" And he pulls out these two dangly steel balls. And she goes, I'm not putting that in my ass. <laughs> and she's like, I'm not putting them in no, my no. butt. And he goes, they don't go in your butt. And then he says, bend over, bitch. He doesn't bitch. And then she bends over yeah, he and he plops these butt. Benoit balls in. And just so you know, I have the entire Fifty Shades of Grey sex toy line. No. Why? Uh, uh, is it, it free buzz? Is it as expensive looking as Christian's uh, mm-hmm. like... Because everything is like leather, polished and chrome. It's really, yeah, it's very chromey. Yeah. But pre Buzzfeed, I had a show on the Playboy YouTube channel called uh, "Opening the Bo- um, <laughs> Opening the Box." Wait, unboxing the box for your box. So it was an <laughs> unboxing sex toy show, right. and they sent the whole Fifty Shades line, and the Benoit balls came in it, and they are very chromey, and then they're covered in gray plastic that says 50 shades on it they should what they should it and then it also came with a glove that has electro stimulation touch so that when you touch the punani it electrocutes a little bit oh i don't remember that one and then it comes with a blindfold (laughs) and Wrist ties now that are red like, silk. I'm gonna no. one up nice. you. <laughs> Did you ever have anyone in your neighborhood when you were a little kid who had like antiques and you would go to their house and they had those balls that you could like shake around in your hand and yeah. they kind of dingalinged yeah. a little yeah. bit? That's so just what put a Benoit ball your feels vagina. like. Yes. I don't consider myself a, a prude. You don't? I don't, <laughs> not actively. <laughs> Sorry, what? But that scene, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like she says, open your mouth, puts it in her mouth, and she goes, <laughs> and then puts it, <laughs> and pens over and pops them in. Yeah. Shocked! I was watching Zach <laughs> while he watched that scene. Yes. In the my, office. My God, the man had the <laughs> massivest boner. <laughs> it, it titillated me, I but I just gasped. I couldn't believe. Yeah. The idea <laughs> is not only that it's like obviously something in your crevasse, right? but like the, it, the balls themselves move inside the ball. So it's like a Russian not doll. Not just a, yeah. like a... A oh. No, it's there's not just a ball. Something it's a ball so in the ball. Move around yeah. 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 So like when she laughs or coughs, it's like <laughs> Which was a great moment. Yeah. She's at the <laughs> the the ball. The, the ball <laughs> and she laughs and goes, <laughs> 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 That's why I said the opening line um, should be <laughs> I I just uh, feel like this movie could have just been replaced with a lex a list of sex toys. <laughs> like that's all I really needed yeah, because it was like very bullet pointy as a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just I feel like, like here's th- a new thing you could do. Here's another thing you could do. Here's another thing you could I do. I mean, literally one of the main segments of the movie was introduced not by oh, uh, this is going to happen because of a reason, but it was just my parents are throwing a ball tonight. You yeah. should come. <laughs> right. Out of nowhere. Yeah. And it turns out to be one of the steamiest sequences. I don't know. All they do <laughs> is like, missionary. Where, 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 no, where? They, they did doggy stuff too. Did they? Yeah. yeah. 
with the like, with the thingy it's, that's in the middle vanilla. of the party. And then he he like her. takes her to an abandoned office and like totally rips out the balls and fucks her. It wasn't <laughs> an abandoned office. That was his childhood bedroom. It was his oh, childhood. okay. It was his. Yeah, bedroom. you could tell yeah. by the <laughs> UFC <laughs> posters. <laughs> that's all fucked up. That's all fucked up. Wait, there are UFC posters. Yeah, there are UFC posters. So what he was basically bastard. getting yeah. off to Joe Rogan. Yeah. How does yeah. that feel? He, he would be a Rogan head. <laughs> Which, <laughs> anyways, but the whole segment is set up out of nowhere. A lot of that. A lot of the movie's sequences just yeah. sort of pop up out of yeah. nowhere. It is, uh, yes, 100%. And the structure of the movie is very much uh, talking, 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 let's fuck. Yeah. Talking, 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 <clears throat> let's fuck. Right. And now we're fucking on a boat. <laughs> now, I would like to, Ariel, on a boat. I, would, I do want to know how often is uh, there sex in the book? A like, lot. Is it pretty often? Yeah, is it like lot. most chapters? Yeah, it's oh, way yeah. more. I feel like in the movie, pretty frequently. The, you know, I watched it what yesterday, and and I remember like three distinct sex scenes, right? Yeah. But I feel like in the, the book, book is way more. It's so much more, and and also they they somehow are able to like sexualize <laughs> non sexual yes. um, interactions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would have liked more. Yeah. That's a good writer. That's yeah, a good writer. Books more of that. Sorry, get you fucking go. <laughs> like they, there's a way that they could make everything sexy, and they yeah. don't. Like they try yeah. to. They have that scene where they're cooking, and he's like. Peeling out the that was just weird shit. Yeah. Where like I because I kept thinking I only to think myself, the he's handling a knife. Like yeah. don't don't get right. your hand near the no, knife. They should be he's like, also not like, using his knuckles. He's just gonna fucking chop off his fingers. What are you doing? <laughs> it should have yeah. been like mm -hmm. pomegranate seeds, like and like but right. But I, even still, I do, I'm only thinking gynecologist. Yeah. <laughs> I do feel like the written word is and you, like your imagination is going to play sure. harder than actually seeing it. Because when you do see it, you're just like, yeah, this is actually kind of corny. Oh yeah. my God, all of this like steaminess is actually kind of weird. And then of course there are sequences where they're they're not, they're very much like, they they work, but. Um, I felt with, like they had the chemistry of like two like straw stick figures. Okay, so, okay, so like, that might be the it. chemistry of two it's like rising to be bread loaves. Yeah, that other. might be it. it sort of they like, just didn't. They not weren't all supposed to be vanilla. This whole see, I keep saying season. This whole season is about vanillahood. It's about like a being the opposite of okay. Episode well, what nine. about the first episode? Movies. What about the first episode of this TV show? Passionate romantic. It's the that, opposite. That, I, I like, disagree. I feel like I feel like it's actually, you know, it's it's not like so the three sex scenes that I talk about, uh -huh. I like maybe the first one is yeah. vanilla, you yeah. know, and I actually I actually found that one the most sexy. Um, you know, <laughs> but then but then it's like I but then I I I feel like it's her exploring BDSM Control. and and kind of like getting into it with him and like being like, okay, we can do this together. I like, yeah. I get why you like this. It's sort of like the movie is slowly her coming to the point where that she can like enjoy what happened at the end of the first movie. Right. And, yeah. and understand like that. It well, gets you know, involved. it's not the hottest thing you could probably think of is when you have an ex-girlfriend that's stalking your current girlfriend with a gun. Right. Finally, yeah. what this <laughs> franchise has <laughs> been missing. <laughs> Spooky girl. We get a spooky girl <laughs> in okay. this spooky shit. Girl. Why is Anastasia always, she always seems to be in danger. And why does someone with a history of mental health problems have access with to a firearm? With the fucking boss. <laughs> and and Ned's asking the real questions. <laughs> you get this spooky little demon girl who is just <laughs> <laughs> lurking in the shadows everywhere Anastasia One of his goes. previous subs. Uh huh. And but what's crazy is that she'll I be like, like Anastasia, <laughs> I need to talk to you. And then Anastasia will be like, Oh, I have to go. And then she just turns around and walks away because yeah. yeah. someone else gets her attention. But it culminates in Spooky Girl breaking into her apartment uh, with a loaded gun. Yep. And Miles, our producer, is off oh, mic. We don't I know, know that it could have been empty. It could have. <laughs> no, well, she, she shoots she it. Very much was oh, not. Right. She, she did. She did oh, pop one directed. off. She popped she one popped off in off the city a, of Seattle. Oh, <laughs> a warning shot. Miles, uh, he's off mic right now. Oh, you do you have one? Yeah. He told. Yeah, you, I'll let you tell this. Slow response time from the police. I uh, I watched this movie <laughs> and. Uh, 
I was not expecting this at all. And when she fired the gun, I had like an immune response. I went to oh, full body chills. Oh, no. God. And I was just like, oh, oh. <laughs> and it scared me maybe more than any horror movie has ever scared wow. me. Wow. I just, I was not expecting it. And the funny thing was, he all. came a little bit. I came a little bit, <laughs> just a teeny yeah. little bit. What I love about that whole thing with Thank the you, spooky Mouse. demon Thanks, girl Mouse. is basically it's like, this guy mentally and physically abused me, so I'm going to look like the fucking crazy one and do crazy shit, and we're going to be like, oh, but he had good reason to be right. the See, way he is. Again, again, really just like doing a disservice to the BDSM community yes, here, right. yes. where like, you know, here's the second person that is like, you know, firmly I'm, in the BDSM community, and she's fucked up. Out of the mental like, hospital. Right. Christian sucks. I'm going to say it. Yeah. Christian Gray sucks we ass. Know. I hate this guy. He is so controlling. He says he's not turned on by being controlling, but he's controlling. She's like, I'm going to New York. And he's like, no. And she's like, I'm going to go. And he's like, we'll talk about it later. If you're so controlling, maybe you should try to control your helicopter better. <laughs> <laughs> hey -o! That was Do you funny. want to talk about the best scene of the movie? Yeah. The, that, the helicopter crash? What is happening? The, the, it's the what best is scene happening? That really makes you think, oh, I guess he could have gone to Portland in a helicopter. <laughs> I, <laughs> was, I Googled <laughs> Seattle to Portland helicopter <laughs> question yeah, mark. Right. Like, is, I guess you it's, could. It's, it's, it's more of a flight, I it's, feel like, right? I, it Wait. seems like you could. You guys all know that. Christian is a pilot. Like, yeah, that I he do studied now. that. I didn't know yeah. that. Oh, it's in the book. But it's then, in the book. Yes. But then he read. He was just like, "Oh, I mean, if Tom Cruise is flying helicopters, I gotta fly a helicopter. Yeah. So I it's gotta a show it off." It's a great moment. It's top tier cinema because it really tells you that anything can happen in this film mm. it, it without being like set up. <laughs> they ran out of budget for certain uh, very essential scenes that would have connected certain dots. It. So they uh, thought, how can we get her to realize she needs to be with this man? Uh, Throw in an off-camera near-death experience right, that's resolved right. within 10 minutes. Yes, right. But I really yeah, need you to know. went through the whole the circle of grief before. in yeah. about five minutes. I, I really they need the audience the to know. So the budget for this movie was $55 million up from the first... They spent it all on Dakota Johnson's butt double. They sure did. Because that ass was... Mwah. So for this helicopter scene, I need you to know... That it is not set up. It is just all of a sudden we cut to helicopter. And within seconds, this helicopter is crashing. We don't know why. <laughs> we don't know why. Did We've never seen it. Black We've never, smoke. We've never seen Christian in a helicopter before. Nope. Oh, yes, we have. <laughs> yeah, he's not in this season one. Film. He flew around. Not in this film. Right. <laughs> oh, not in this film. And oh, you think some people are watching only this film? Come on now, Zach. <laughs> it they didn't crashes. explain why they had broken up either. Like, I, I went Good into this point. movie yeah. being like, why? I did feel a little bit like when I watch any Marvel movie and I'm like, what's happening? But mm. in a bad way. Oh. Yeah. And this one, it starts with a horrific dream of yeah. a child being abused. Yeah. And then you're that like, was, oh, this is what the movie's going to be about. I, mean, I thought that was a pretty <laughs> good not, hook, actually. It's a good hook. Because the, the next 15 minutes are unwatchably boring. Yeah, that's fair. So at least I was it like, got you thinking. oh, low, that poor child. She has this whole moment of grief. He comes right back. He comes right back <laughs> it's immediately. It's immediate. It's he immediately right solved. He comes right back. He has a whole, I guess, helicopter ride from, uh, or like medic ride from uh, wherever he crashed back to Seattle. Mm. And he still has blood on his face. <laughs> yeah. They didn't yeah. think to wipe it off. Right. Or just like yeah. say like, oh, any of the medics could have yeah. done that. Well, he's very right. controlling. Maybe he didn't want anybody to touch mm. his face. But, but she touches his face all the fucking time. Yeah, you know, yeah, helicopter crashes aren't exactly ER like soft being. and easy. It's not really like helicopters crash all that often and you just kind of walk away from it. Yeah. I will say one interesting thing about the movie is anytime somebody gets stressed out, they just fall on their knees and then hope that'll resolve the issue. Yeah. Don't you do that? I guess so. Yeah, you you're right. You don't throw yourself your knees yeah, when you're in sure despair. Do. <laughs> the one thing parenting has taught me, if your ah. kids are misbehaving, uh. beg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just beg. Uh, Garrick, I know you that. wanted to talk about this, but uh, when he's describing his mother early <laughs> on... <laughs> Okay. We just lost okay. Garrick to a fit right. of at deep the laughter. At the beginning of the movie, where he's starting to open up to her, he explains what happened to his mom. And if you would like to play the the, I don't voice have the clip, you don't I have wish. the clip anymore. I have the quote. 
Okay, so he's he says <laughs> my mom was an addict. She died. Or no, fuck. Tell, no, 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 it's, no, 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 it's my mother was an addict. And yeah. she goes, Why didn't you tell me? And he goes, A crackhead. No, no, no. <laughs> he said, My mother died. My mother died when I was four. She was an addict. Crack. <laughs> <laughs> It was like a big Sean bar that had like a, a semicolon image. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Who who writes crack. this? Also, no one's this? ever been like, what was, what was their drug of choice? Crack. 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 What I also love, too, is that he goes, you can fill in the cracks. Can I? No, can I no, fill in you the can't. I, I want a lot also, more info. I would love a lot more. It is a pun. He did make a pun. Uh, he's a pun boy. He's yes. punny. But like, also... None of this has anything to do with sexual gratification at all. Was he like, was his mom like uh, abusing him at some point? And that's why she, you know, that's why her death is like validated and all that stuff. And that's why now he not, he needs to punish women that look like okay, him. Okay, hear me out. Crack, or, cracks, but crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crack, she was, crack, she was just a crack at it. This should have just been an addiction story to not <laughs> sex, but to drugs. Like, what? <laughs> this has nothing to do. I would have watched that. You know what? That's great. Like, the reason why this dr uh, movie dramatically flops so hard on so many, <laughs> in so many moments is because ostensibly the whole movie is about him revealing little uh, nuggets yeah. of his past. Yeah. But we already know all that from yeah. the first 30 seconds. Yeah. 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 We can make a lot of assumptions yeah. based on what right. happens when but we you don't really right. care. Die. It's, it's he so was with weird. his mother, too. Yeah, he was with his mother. He saw his mom like, die. Where were you? Or yeah. like, what happened to you? And she was like, I was with it. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, wait. You died. Your mother your mom, died in front of you on yeah. the crack? Yeah. And again, back to what Ariel was saying. <laughs> That then makes people who are into BDSM look yes. like people who are dealing with trauma. And it's not like sexual trauma or like just kinks no. that they have. It's just like, oh, it's all rooted back to this t terrible right. childhood that it's I had. Not. Rather than just being like, oh, this is just what I'm into. Yeah, most people are pretty vanilla that are into it. Yeah, it's it's so weird. You know what does a better job of this than this movie? Mm -hmm. Sex, Sex criminals. criminals. There it is. Oh, <laughs> the best comic out oh, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It's so good. It's so good. Please make it a show it's for so the good. love of God. Uh, well, I didn't get to watch it all last night. Uh, I turned it off to go to bed because I said this movie isn't worth losing sleep over. <laughs> yeah. So Fair I enough. watched the rest of it the second half in the office on the big screen <laughs> on the big screen <laughs> yeah. No. yeah i did i, I, I did walk I, in I, uh, and it was the like the scene with the the uh ankle shackles oh the spreader yeah bar. The, the spreader bar the spreader bar, <laughs> the spreader bar. i i we that was I, it's so like, like bottom half of a saint andrew's cross yeah. so like again going back to the list of sex toys like while i was watching this movie yeah, i was point, taking notes one, yeah. i was like but oh. i was taking yeah, notes actually you they know, like, made most of the budget back on Amazon affiliate links. Oh, yeah, <laughs> there it is. Just just post that in the description below. Yes. You know, I would would have much rather. How, that. So, how was that for you watching it in daylight? Um, <laughs> it was fine until the boobies came out, and then I was like, I don't know if this is okay. And then I look over, and Where's the entire HR? audience, uh, the entire office, is raptly watching it with me. And I was like, at yeah, this office, right. that's We're a cool the weird office. thing. That was, I I was, don't know. Honestly, that was the first thing that someone said to me is like, Ned is just casually watching 50 Straight. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, sh should I be concerned? Is yeah. that like an HR issue? We're like, oh, can we talk about the HR moment in this movie? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this fucking Jesus creepy Christ. guy. Oh, where yeah. the head of HR is like, yeah, you should go network. Like, that bitch, there has been three. <laughs> that is People no. who have quit <laughs> that and is resigned. Job. It is your job to you warn them know. about this situation. Also, to fire her. Fire him. already. To fire the fire she on it? Is she an enabler? Right. She is an enabler. She so, is an enabler. Anastasia's boss. She works at a book right. company. Oh my God. Give them the context. I, I can't even. I, Okay, I'm gonna maybe get uh, yelled at here because when he first comes on screen, her boss, I'm like, ooh, he fine. He is hot. You did not. He's better looking than Cooper. He's, no, he looks like a Bradley Cooper. Like Cooper. He looks like a fucking rat. I thought he was yeah. Bradley Cooper. With his little narrow eyeballs. Yeah, I was like, Cooper. movie language 101. I wanted them to kiss. Yeah. And I thought they were gonna set up a love triangle. Yeah. yeah me too. Instead Dead. Well, they basically did. Ooh, he, he turns out to be creepo McCreeper. Well, it's sort of a love yeah. triangle in that it's a, a non-consensual love triangle. Yeah, yes. I don't yeah. I don't know if that's so much a triangle, it's just broken parts of a, of a yeah. shape. It's just shards. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a dot trying to bash a line. It's trying to Ooh. fuck the other line. <laughs> but he like, I mean, immediately he's like, 
uh, uh, we're going to do a work thing. Oh, will your boyfriend be mad? It's like, bitch, for, okay, you're the boss. You do yeah. not get to be jealous of a boyfriend. But immediately yeah. they have this weird relationship and it culminates uh, in a scene of him trying to take advantage of her at the office. She kicks him <laughs> in the nuts. Get him. And then Get Christian him. Gray immediately gets him fired and like all He's this waiting random... outside. Yeah, it's so conveniently. Ridiculous. Okay, I'm curious, uh, because this is a sexy film. We've obviously been having fun jabbing and poking holes, but there's some sexy stuff in this. Hottest yeah. scene. What do we think? I, I know my answer. What's, What's your answer? Hottest? Definitely the, the I think pussy it's weights <laughs> experience. The pussy <laughs> weights really? I, there was no I, sex. I fucking love no the the the, the, the sneaking away. I, okay, it does. You yeah. know the fact that you guys y'all just said it was his childhood bedroom does take it down a notch. Yeah, I thought it was but an abandoned office at the party. Him in? But like being at a party and being like, "Ooh, I need you so bad. We're gonna just mm. leave and find a quiet mm. place and just mm -hmm. also you've had pussy weights in this whole time." <laughs> Every time you say pussy bed weights, bed a part of me dies bed inside. Bed a part of me lives. I steal that part of you that dies. And while all. Okay, no, Zach, actually, what know. was your favorite? Oh, it's got to be the elevator. You the elevator. Oh, oh, yeah. Elevator. That one was good, too. Oh, yeah. good baby. Wait, and can happens? we talk about that lady he, in front he, of he them? Definitely in the, in the heard of everything. Of yeah. yeah, and she's just like, Good for He's them. Like, mm -hmm. He gets there in a crowded elevator. Oh, my gosh, that woman's face. I swear to God. She's like, she yeah. heard because if you think, everything. If you think about it, she is an extra on the film. Yeah. And she knows what he's doing behind her. And she's, you know, not right. good enough to Try hide it. it. Everyone's got to say, where's the weirdest place you've gotten naughty before? Porta potty. What? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that point. That's that true. knowing point That's between true. the two of them. Oh, was it at least at a festival? Yeah, yeah it was at a music festival. Yeah. A yeah. Yeah. Festival. I love the way that they just pointed at each other. They that went, my man. It was my man. Summer. Ouch. Wow. Yeah. That must have it's, been. It's gone from hot and mysterious to, to sticky in my mind. Well, it, it's it, stinky. Well, it, well, there was stinky. a flash rainstorm, so uh, we had to get out of the rain somehow. Uh, That's not true. There's so many rain. Really? Yeah, yeah. 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 That was part of it. How can you fuck knowing someone else's shit is that close to your own pooper? Yeah. You really like your partner. Wow. Zach, you got an answer? I'm a pretty vanilla boy. Okay. Uh, I definitely, I had someone who I lightly dated before Maggie who was an exhibitionist and really was <laughs> pushing cool. to go somewhere public. And I'm like, I, I, she, she kept being like, idea? let's go to a bookstore. And I'm like, mm. I don't, bookstores are quiet and I feel like we're going to get caught and yeah. I'm scared and I don't think I'm going to be able to perform no under, these pre under this pressure. pressure. Oh, yeah. you tell me you never hooked up in a college library. I mean, come on. No, I Come was like Adderall out of my mind. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like dry as bone. I was like, wow, that counts. Can I learn about U.S. history? I was stoned through all of college. If someone oh. tried to do that, I'd be like, whoa, oh. that's crazy. College libraries. What about have you, a Rick? You got any weird spots? Yeah, I got some weird spots. What's a weird spot? Tell uh, me. The weirdest spot um, with a young miss who now has uh, <laughs> beautiful children. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it was another person, but um, it was we boss. went to the um, we went to the pride parade and <gasps> it got pretty late at night, I believe, <gasps> and um, we found a chair in someone's backyard. Oh, uh -huh. No way! Was it a, a backyard at which you were a party, or it's like no. you were wandering oh through a neighborhood? Right. And you're just like here's backyard. somebody's backyard, <gasps> yeah. and that here's a chair. It's wow. just like nobody's home, or at least they aren't looking out. It was, oh yeah, my it was God. Really sick. That is a risk case. Yeah, 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 yeah. The risk wow. uh, helped it Wait, a lot. So, <laughs> oh my so a chair. Yeah. Did, did you sit in the chair? I sat in the okay. chair. Just, yeah, just yeah. like, yeah. My name is Ruth. Talking facts, right? like an yeah. Adirondack or like, oh, yeah, a, I was like a strappy kind of chair. lawn no, chair. I'm, I'm like a lawn chair. Like, was, a, like a half broken lawn like chair. Like patio chair. No, it was not like a lawn chair. It didn't have, it was like an old, like, Shitty wooden chair. That's, I, yeah, uh, that's, that that's dangerous. Right. So somebody had thrown out their dining chair. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. And yeah. yeah. In the 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 and we were like, we like, we should we're like, well, luckily I carried sandpaper in yeah. my pocket, baby. Right. <laughs> right, right. No, I was, I did. I mean, I was. Winter's up the I was ass. Pretty young, so I didn't give a fuck about like staff oh. infections. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know what those were. Or no. scurvy. You know, I was scurvy. like, let's just fuck on the shirt. Yeah, yeah I have Kelsey, I'm afraid to eat ask, them, but eat um, them oranges. Well, yeah, I was going to say there's a couple weird ones, but the one that's coming to mind in terms of like risk factor 
was a ski gondola because you're you are Whoa. being timed. Like you can right. see that's hot. That's hot. the finish lines. <laughs> like, so you have that is so weird. Yeah. Yeah. We go to Colorado. No, 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 yeah, because you're also Ooh, wearing like so much that's clothing. You're, you're wearing so, so much clothing. clothing. And then you're both oh, you we... both have skis attached to you. <laughs> oh, you go. Oh, go. 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 Come on. Go. 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 You put them outside. The gondola is the one where you put the skis outside. And it's a big bubble. I'm picturing I'm not rich enough to know the difference between a gondola and a fucking ski. Fuck you, you went to so you tell me you never crashed your helicopter. You can you, I asked you if you wanted to go ski a bunch, and you said no. I have because no I desire was to too ski. Poor. And then you went skiing. <laughs> you went skiing this year, you fucker, because you got went. money. I also it was. Would be, it would be very interesting to I was um, have chair sex lift. on a chairlift. Yeah, it's chairlift. That's, that's what my mind went to, and I was like, oh, that was scary. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. I'm I already like, scared also, of falling out of chairlifts yeah. just like as you could give a handy on a chairlift. Back to the movie. That'd be oh yeah. <laughs> Not one time in this movie did Christian Grey fully take off his fucking pants. Oh, and I like, agree. I was gonna say when yeah. he fucked with his Can jeans on, that was the terrible fuck. sex scene where his pants are like up his ass. That's so. There's like, no and you way only get his crack out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Like, what the- also, have you ever tried to fuck with jeans on that clothes? Like, you, there's no, oh, there's um, no way. There's terrible no fabric. Foot. I know they you, have, you have no jeans on, but yes. not like there's no flexibility. No the jeans were so high; it's like <laughs> barely no his dick is like barely out. Yeah, what the shit? I, I will say the movie ends in a way that only this franchise can. This franchise has a way of just ending, you know, where you go, oh, okay, and, yeah, I guess and it's, it's over. over. And, <laughs> and it's over. And the it's movie over. that I thought should have ended half an hour ago somehow abruptly ended in a way that I felt was inconclusive. Yes. But they propose, they are, I mean, they propose a million times yes. during this movie, but then there's a real proposal, and uh, they're engaged. And then the evil boss burns a cigarette hole, and he's coming back for revenge. Really quick, I'm sorry. Um, that's the only time we get to see the cigarette burning even come full circle, or if any, if this is the second time it was ever mentioned. Right. Outside of the well, because this franchise scene. expects the audience members to be, you know, smart and like getting picking it up. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, but like. They're, 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 no, that's not helpful at all to like the story. It's just like, oh, this, you know, we're gonna call back to cigarette burns. If by there's one thing this franchise is not, is expecting its audience members to be one step ahead of yeah, it at all. <laughs> we got some fun facts. Way back, back. So, uh, Jamie Dornan received some backlash after the first film for not being sexy enough. Mm. I agree. Uh, um, but because of that, the producers decided to let him keep his stubble for. The sequels. Do we think, think it helps? It helped. It helped. It helped. Sexiness? Mistake? I think it was a mistake. Devil I is sexy. It I helped. think it helps. I, I mean, look at him. I didn't even notice. Balding. Oh, God. I mean, it makes him look it just, older. It just which... made him look sort of... Yeah, I didn't think it look, made him look hot. I thought it made him look like even more... Like a bag of flour <laughs> on sale at the supermarket. <laughs> on sale, Damn. Jamie Dornan did not. He, this was a joke, of course. It's a joke. It's a joke. But he joked that he didn't love doing scenes with co-star Eric Johnson, who plays the romantic rival, the super fucked up boss, because Johnson is, quote, too tall and doesn't make him look good. Damn. Uh, that will always funny. get you with the height. I heard that he was, like, going through, like, that this relationship, this acting role with Dakota Fanning, uh, like, like... Dakota Johnson. Dakota Johnson. Oh. <laughs> Very different people. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I heard it like caused issues in his like actual relationship. Yeah, he talked about it. Tell me more. No, because it was like people were seeing him as like a sex god and it made his wife uncomfortable or something. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, he should have thought of that before he took the mm-hmm. role. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, but as your wife, you got to be like, yes, honey, do it. This will change your fucking life. And then you're the like, the role oh, of a lifetime. Oops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it does take a lot to psych yourself up for a sex scene. Uh, so Dakota Johnson and uh, Jamie Dornan had their pre-sex scene ritual. I'm curious before I share this. Well, actually, I'll share it, and then I want to know, what would you do? They uh, So she would down a glass of whiskey. Jamie, Jamie Dornan would do push-ups, and then they would have a private conversation to work out the scene. But, okay, you got to prep for a sex scene. How you getting in the mode? <laughs> Uh, this you, the exact same way. I would do both of those. Honestly, yeah, yeah, both I, I would just watch porn. 
But aren't you like not supposed to have a boner yeah. as an actor? I think hey, there is no way that you can avoid it. <laughs> you just do. Oh, as Garrick oh. the man. Did you just do tell? 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 It, it is you are you are a human you're wearing you're you're a human being yeah, wait, what the fuck you're the only one you've actually had a sex scene yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> so you you they they put on a little like situation or like a little like, like cover a dance thing belt? like, like a dance stretchy belt? tiny yeah they, they, like skin colored underwear or something. no 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 you put on uh, you no i wasn't fully nude for it but you wear you wear underwear you and then they be? put like a pad over your oh. stuff um so to make it look like you have more stuff? No, just no, to, make to make it, make it feel like, more comfortable and less so self-conscious. Less about it. You can okay. see the whole bit. Okay. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. They, th- clearly, there is a the job that too. is like the sex person. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. They, yeah. Like, they, have they know, a, they're like, they have here, an intimacy, here is your pad, um, and here is your this. Yeah, um, I, an intimacy, guy? they have an intimacy coordinator uh-huh. that comes and talks to both of you. Really good friends with And like has a conversation about like how comfortable you are with stuff like that. And all that stuff. And then it really does make it turn into a uh, handshake, a handshake it. in a handshake. very like comfortable situation. And then um, your body is just like, nah, fuck this. Like, I'm, I'm going to do what I do, bro. It's, it's and I, that my boy I've is been, acting. That, yeah. <laughs> you were, what? How? Why did you get a boner? You were in the scene. In the yeah, I was in the scene. I was in the moment. Um, somebody, somebody has a famous. Why were you so hard? Because you were turned on. Because yeah. you were listening. You were listening. You were um, listening. Your party was because you're so a good actor. Yeah, I was an actor. If you don't get a boner, one would argue: Are you really? In you, yeah, yeah. Somebody right, said. Right. Somebody has a famous quote that when he, whenever he did intimacy uh, scenes with women, I think it might have been Seth Rogen. I'm not sure, but he said, um, uh, "If I don't get a boner." If I do get a boner, I'm sorry. If I don't get a boner, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like it's a lose lose situation. <laughs> That's yeah, funny. So. Um, that is fascinating. I was in a play in college where it was all about sex. It was a La Ronde. It was like a series of sex scenes and Ooh, sort of exploring intimate relationships. And so I had to have, uh, I don't know about simulated sex, but it was all the aftermath of sex and lots of makeouts. And it's it, it was just like I, I felt like nothing. It yeah. was just like you're oh, just yeah. kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. thinking about what you're gonna what say you gonna next, say, and gonna... you know how to finish this kissing beat, and it's right. just the least sexy thing Ugh. ever. I literally did a video. I mean, a thousand videos where I was in sex scenes with men, with women, with multiple partners. I did a whole series with Chris that were like, if blank was honest, we did. If having sex was honest, like it's especially when you know the person, it's so not sexual like if i got to have sex with person you got to have sex with though i would be so fucking nervous but when you know them it's like oh this is just and you've been knowing that this was like at the end of our run so you've known known them for like a while yeah but if you're just Mm. right on set and it's like here's this person i'd be like oh my god this is like fucking yeah it should never be they should always save it for the end of the production i had to do a Kissing play with someone who had real stinky breath, and that oh, was for oh, you. No. Mm, wait, wait, wait! Hold, did you have to do a fake orgasm on camera? No, no, no. They no. didn't show it. Either. Yeah, they didn't even. They cut the whole scene. Oh, so we, they cut the so whole what? Scene? Yeah, they cut the whole oh. scene. We made sure because he had that big of a boner yeah. with his shirt off, and he had a chain <laughs> I'm on. The caveman. I'm not gonna say that. Season two. <laughs> Season two. Yeah, that's, Season that's two. See, see. James shirtless. Uh, final fun fact is that Jamie Dornan did want to hang dong in this franchise. He was open to showing the dick. Wow. Uh, and really? they, they just and didn't not do his it. whole bottom. But he said he was down. Maybe. They only showed half a crack. I agree. Yeah. Really? Crack. More crack. Give yeah. us the dong. I need more crack. Release I want the dong butt. cut. I will say that you know, I've seen in porn more often that dudes don't wear underwear underneath jeans and then they just like fucking their jeans Ow, gotta no, be so and gross. so i feel like they're trying to replicate that mm. a lot of the time no me gusta. Uh, this episode would not be complete without ariel sharing us the <gasps> true guilty pleasure of how she watched the movie <gasps> oh <laughs> um yeah uh i went to a um a local um bar in our neighborhood <laughs> And I watched it on my computer with a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Aww, 
that's, that's so beautiful. Sweet. <laughs> Mom's night out with herself. It actually was. <laughs> that's oh, nice. That's great. And I went out with the girls. Sounded and it was delightful. So fun. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. Don't be afraid to watch this in public. iPad fully open. It's brightness. Yes. Yeah, brightness. <laughs> volume up. Full volume. Where, yeah. where, where, no headphones. Yes, no headphones on a my, plane. My earphones weren't working, so I did have to watch it. <laughs> there you go. There it is. There you go. I you think you it. could get arrested for that. <laughs> I just made really good friends with the like the go. the waitress, and she was like, "Yeah, girl." <laughs> wonder, is it like illegal if I just went to a co- posted up in a coffee shop and started watching porn on my phone? Yeah, I think that's that like is yeah. it? It's illegal. Majorly illegal. But I'm not doing sure? that. You'll I'm be a sex it. offender if you're in a hundred feet of a school. Yeah, you but don't I'm want not, that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just watching. <laughs> Miles. We gotta figure not. this out. Miles. You're okay. yelling. Uh, well, now the comeback. <laughs> Correct. Now is the time we have to decide, is this movie a pleasure, a guilty pleasure, or just plain guilty? If you're not familiar, this is the moment where you kind of you give it a designation. It doesn't matter. But you're really telling people why they should or should not watch this film. 100% a guilty pleasure. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to agree. And I'm why should people guilty. watch yeah. it? Yeah. You learn a lot about, like, toys <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, there's, like, a whole glossary that you have to go through yeah. after watching this movie. And yeah. who doesn't like to watch like a good I mean, fuck on screen? Right? Yeah. There's <laughs> three excellent fucks in here. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Excellent fucks. You gotta go with the loud underneath not, the and, rated R banner. And that's R not banner. counting the elevator <laughs> yeah. or the pussy weights. Yeah. Pussy weights. Yeah. Love it. She said it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you gotta go in knowing A, this got 11% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. B... <laughs> It is worse than the first movie. Uh, see, the actors don't have a lot of chemistry, but you know, guys, guys, guys. and gals, and yeah. everyone in between. Yeah, there's some fucking. There's some fucking. <laughs> and for that reason, yeah, it's a GP. Yeah, yeah. That's a guilty pleasure. Yeah, yeah. GP, GP, DP. I did feel la, guilty la, 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 la. watching it in the office, however. Uh, but you know what? <laughs> He's a cool boss. HR. He's a cool boss. Yeah. Uh, is this movie worse than the first one? I think so. But yeah. does it have a helicopter crash? You yeah. better believe it. Um, I don't think I liked this movie. I'm going to call it guilty, and I'm so <gasps> sorry. <laughs> I did can't say I enjoyed it. Wow, Shame. Zach. Wow, I can't It believe. wasn't for you. I think I would have <laughs> liked to have rather watched the supercut of just the sex scenes. It would exhaust me. Honestly, I'm and sure this is something I didn't say up. in the movie. Being horny this often as they are, mm. is exhausting. Mm. And there then is also, that. It all took place within the span of like four days. They're yeah. <laughs> having so much sex. Yep. And then as a viewer watching it, you're just kind of like edging yourself for two hours. And I don't know that I want that. <laughs> or you yeah. come for that. <laughs> 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 I don't want to live. Garrick. Forever. Bring it home, oh, GB. I just want to oh. sail on a boat. I think this movie is proof that America doesn't like reading that much. <laughs> yeah. Because just read the book. Just read the book. Yeah. Just read the book. It is, if you are just going to come into this yeah. and just like, uh, come, yeah, see you, I'm into, into this. this um, <laughs> hopefully you don't come into this. That's I'm not going to tell. The DVD I mean, will stop working. Be done. <laughs> I don't think that people share their books. Right. Like, there was a reason. An unrated, <laughs> hilarious. Hilarious. There was an unrated cut for purchase. Oh, really? And... We, I, you know, I rented the rated R cut like a bitch. Wait, yeah. did you rent it? Because I rented it too. All right. Okay, Ariel rented it. And I didn't <laughs> want to pay extra for the unrated version. Obviously, I wanted to spend the extra. No, no, I was, I was not trying to shame you. I was actually wondering if we bought time. it twice. Fourteen minutes. That's worth it. One hundred eighteen minutes versus one hundred thirty-two minutes. Yeah. Yes, that's my worth friends, it. that's what you what get if, with the I'd extra like ten dollars. What if the unrated I'd cut is it. just like a really long dinner scene? Uh, <laughs> it's just them talking. Yeah. Honestly, it wouldn't be surprised. Um, what is it? Huh? What is oh, it? Oh, it's it's guilty. Read the book. Ah, read the book. Guilty, right. read the book uh, you two, thank you so much for coming. Yay, mom uh, and dad. Uh, mom and dad. Y- what are you working on? Where can people find you? You have a phenomenal podcast, Ariel. That is the best in the Tri Network. I do, I do. I have the most popular <laughs> podcast in the Tri Network. Right. Um, you guys come find us on. You can sit with us. Uh, and you know what? Send us all of your questions about this movie at you can sit with us pod at okay. gmail.com because. Wow. Um, I love answering sex questions and it makes Maggie and Becky and Matt really uncomfortable. So give me all those. 
Ned, what do you want to plug? Well, today all day I was filming a new family-friendly <laughs> science show called Science Daddy. Aww. Which, it's in this context... Really it's going to be really Thank cute. you, Daddy. Uh, it was, yeah, it's going to be a family-friendly science show that answers questions that, you know, my four-year-old asked me about the world. Like, That's cute. Why does my body fart? Or, you oh. know, how do... Why does my body fart? Well, you know, you stay tuned wait, to find right? out. I got a question. Wait. It's for children and, and Kelsey. September. <laughs> uh, at Ariel Fulmer. At Ned Fulmer? That's Ariel right. M. Ariel M. Don't, don't forget don't it. You forget don't it. Don't forget the M. I'm at Corn Diddy on all the things. I'm at Kelsey Darrow on all the things. I'm at Garrick Bernard on all the things. And until next time, laters, uh. baby. Oh, <laughs> laters, God. baby. Pussy way. <laughs>